In this video, I will show you exactly how to solve the problem of ad account disabled. We noticed some unusual activity. So we have disabled your ad account. Verify your account to run ads again. This problem normally happens when Facebook notices some unusual activity like the debit card you are using to um, you've added as a payment method to your ad account is different from the country that you live in. I'm just listing them. It's not just one. It may be that the ad account, the, the debit card currency is different from the currency on your ad account. That could be also another reason. It could also be that you recently traveled from where you were living to another different area and you logged in. So when you log in, they will notice some suspicious activity because there's a change in location. It could also be that some hackers have hacked your Facebook account and logged in and trying to make uh, to run, disable your ad account when it was not supposed to be disabled. So first of all, someone who is watching this may or having this problem may say, so how do I solve it? So first of all, you have to come to the computer. I don't advise you to do this on a phone. So you come to the computer. First of all, you come to the left hand corner, you will see um, the ad manager. So you open to the ad manager, first of all, as you can see, I'm, I'm logging into the ad manager. Then after you log into the ad manager, if the ad account is the one you are logging by default, fine. If that is not it, you can just click on the here and then click on see more ad account, then you can select the ad account. So after you select the ad account, you come here and then go to, uh, you open that particular, uh, the payment settings in a new, a new tab. So I have already opened it and this is it. So that is where I am now. So when you come, in case you even go to the, um the payment settings and you don't see the suspicious activity you can switch between the new the ad account that are there to be able to see so for example when you go back one step you can see that normally there is an option to um select you can select the ad account you want so i was already in the correct ad account so i'm going back to that particular ad account so this is what you do um when you click on contact support okay when you click on contact support, this is what you're going to see. Um, it will open where you will be asked to write. It, it says we noticed some user activity, so your ad account is disabled. If you believe that this was a mistake, please answer the questions so we can investigate. So it says describe your issue, provide more information about what we are experiencing much uh, in as much detail as possible to, to help us investigate. Then here they also say attach a statement for your payment method that include the last four digits of your payment method uh, any recent changes from your facebook your statement must uh, meet these requirements to allow for a timely review of your case okay so um, you make sure you get a bank statement so you go to your bank and tell them <clears throat> you need a bank statement for the debit card you have used for the account so they will issue a bank statement. Make sure it covers the period in which the problem occurred. So when you come, you can see uh, their payment activity. So you can see uh, the times that the deductions probably happened. So for example, these ones like this, all these are occurring in May 2024. So I have to, if I'm going to request for this, I have to make sure I request for a statement for the month of May. Then they will give you the bank statement that indicate you will see the deductions through the debit card. So that is what they are asking you to get. So you go and get that. Then when you come, you explain what the problem is. After you write all that, and, um, so you, you, you write and explain whatever it is. And after you write it, you come and paste it here. So this is an example of an account that had a similar issue. I took time to describe the issue in detail that dear Facebook, my client, use our ad account, um, this, this, this has been disabled. So if you are the one requesting for yourself, say my ad account has been disabled, and then add your ad account ID and let them know that uh, the reason, probably sometimes you, you yourself may know the reason why it happened. So this one, one, the account was hacked. So I had to indicate all those details that the account was hacked and the hacker uh, made a lot of, um, created a lot of ads and with a very high budget. And probably that prompted the Facebook system to shut down the ad account for suspicious activity. So at the end, I said, attach is the statement of his uh, bank account showing the deductions through the primary payment method and all that. So you have to attach the bank statement. 
So I'm going to attach the bank statement. So you get a copy of the bank statement, attach it. Then you click on request review. So this one, I will not actually click on request review because I'm just doing a demonstration. But if you are actually doing it, you click on request review. Normally when you do that, you get a response. And this is where the response will come. Um, it will show you when you come to your main Facebook profile, you click on the profile picture at the top right hand corner, go to um, help and support. Okay. Go to support inbox. Then you go to, when you go to support inbox, you will normally see some messages uh, under the alert. They will show here, either under the alert or under the, uh, under this particular place, you will see a message that tells you, oh, you had a bailing issue and you will get a, a, an instant reply. So sometimes the reply may tell you that, okay, we've received your inquiry and we will investigate and get back to you within two business days or two working days. Now you have to wait. If after two working days or sometimes it won't even reach to two working days, then they will get back and tell you that uh, probably um, they couldn't rectify that. It is your, uh, they couldn't really rectify that you are genuinely um, the one that made those transactions or whatsoever happened. Sometimes they may tell you that um, they can't verify your identity or they cannot re-enable your account because you have violated the policy. So whatever they say, you can reply to the message. If you follow that up for a long time and you don't get a solution. I've done a video earlier on, on how to contact Facebook Live Chat Support. You can contact them and I will leave the link to that particular video at the top and also leave it in the description of this video at the top for those who watch it on a computer, okay? Now, um, you can follow it, watch that video and contact Facebook support and make your complaint. If you don't get a solution, you can follow the link in the description. There's a WhatsApp and Telegram link to contact me to get a solution. I actually offer services. I can help you get a solution to this problem, but I charge to do that. It's not for free. So when you contact me, know that if you are ready to pay, I can help resolve the problem for you and you can advertise again. And we also run ad campaigns as well. We can give you very effective ad campaign that will get you sales and then it will help you make money. Once again, thank you for uh, watching. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and like this video for other more powerful videos. See you in the next video.